Top ongoing mega projects in Egypt. Hello, Displayers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displayer, and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall explore the top ongoing mega projects in Egypt. Egypt's economy has in the past mainly depended on agriculture, tourism, and petroleum exports and media. Egypt's second biggest income source is by the traffic that goes through the Swiss Canal, as well as dependence on foreign aid and remittance from citizens working abroad in oil rich countries. Petroleum and natural gas are produced within the principal minerals being iron ore, phosphate, salt, manganese, limestone, gypsum, and gold, while principal exports are crude and refined petroleum, cotton, textiles, metal products, and chemicals, with chief trading partners being the United States, Italy, Germany, France, and Saudi Arabia. But in recent times, a series of economic and fiscal reforms undertaken in the 1990s, with support from the International Monetary Fund, appear to be having a positive and greater effect on the country's overall economy. Economic mega projects have been a main characteristic in Egypt as they have been launching projects without any breathing space in the last decade in an attempt to revalue its economy and revive what used to be and still is one of the world's historic countries. According to Africa Construction 2019 Deloitte report, Egypt has the most ongoing construction projects with 49, followed by Algeria with 17 projects, and then Morocco with 16 projects. Of the several 49 ongoing projects in Egypt now, here are some of them. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Number 1. Daba Nuclear Power Plant Project $29 billion project The Daba Nuclear Power Plant Project, which will be the first nuclear power plant plant for Egypt and will be located at El Daba, Madru Governorate, which is about 130 km northwest of Cairo. The energy project will be constructed by Rosatom in Egypt. The power plant is planned to be similar to Russia's Leningrad nuclear power plant, which has an installed capacity of 4,200 megawatts and supplying 50% of the energy consumed in St. Petersburg and the Leningrad region. The plant will have four VVER-1200 reactors, making Egypt the only country in the region to have a generation of three-plus reactor. Upon completion, Daba power plant will have a capacity of 4,800 megawatts. The overall cost of the project is $29 billion, out of which Russia will finance 85% as a state loan and Egypt will provide the remaining 15% in the form of installments. The Russian loan has a repayment period of 13 years, with an annual interest rate of 3%. Number 2. $20 billion Entertainment District Inside Egypt's New Capital City Egypt is one of the countries which has embarked on a project to construct a new capital city from scratch, and as part of the project, it will also construct a $20 billion Entertainment District. The Entertainment District, spanning 4,256 acres, will be in Egypt's new administrative capital, which has been under construction since 2015. The project will be developed in three phases over a period of 10 years to include the construction of four-star and six-star resorts and themed hotels, luxury homes, villas and high-rises, a wellness center, high-end and regional shopping and dining, a VIP golf course and other recreational and green space activities, and theme parks. The entertainment district will also feature a cultural arts center, convention center, aviary, butterfly, topiary and botanical gardens, conservatories, platinarium, museum and recreational activities for children, sports and concert stadium, Formula One racetrack and an entertainment college. Number 3. $1.2 billion concentrated solar power CSP plants. CSP is a type of renewable energy that uses the sun's energy to process heat with temperatures of 400 degrees Celsius to 1000 degrees Celsius. CSP plants are large scale renewable energy infrastructures that use CSPs to process heat that can be transformed into electricity or stored. The billion dollar project includes the construction of five CSP power plants. Each single station projected to cost approximately $250 million, all of which will come from international and local lending bodies, according to the SES's chairperson. Up to 70% of the financing will come from international bodies, while 10 to 15% will be offered by local banks. The upgrade includes raising the efficiency of Terminal 1 to increase capacity from 6 to 10 million passengers, upgrading the efficiency of Terminal 3 and its corridors, which should be done by 2020 and by 2030. The medium term plan will be concluded. Number 4. Middle East Largest Private Medical City Arab Republic of Egypt has officially begun the construction of Middle East's largest integrated private medical city. The project is sited on 57 acres of new development across the new capital city of Egypt on Cairo Swiss Road, poised to be an anchor and catalyst in the surrounding area. Its landscape design proposes a balance between sustainable, low water use, native landscape and a green shaded retreat. Construction of the entire project will be completed in 7 to 10 years' time in three phases, upon which there shall be a 350-bed state-of-art general hospital, clinics, plaza, a hotel, and 11 specialized medical excellence centers. Furthermore, 10,000 to 13,000 job opportunities shall be created. Number 5. 
The Regatta Luxor High Speed Rail The project involves the construction of a 300km high speed rail from Luxor to Hogada, a network which includes three lines that will be executed in order of priority. The first links Ain Songa to New Alemin, which start from the new administrative capital passing through Ain Sokna and Sith of October City onto New Alamein. The first phase of that line stretched from NAC onto the Sith of October City over 122 km and will be linked with Road Al Farag Axis. The second phase will extend from Sith October City onto New Alamein over 210 km passing in a parallel to Road Al Farag Daba Axis. The third links NAC with Ain Songna and lies over 92 km. The second line links Sith of October City with Upper Egyptian Governorate onto Aswan and will start from Ain Songna and will pass through Masa Alam and Hogada until it ends in Luxor. Ain Songna and Luxor will be the junction stations of the first and third lines. The speed of the passenger and freight train will be 250 km per hour and 160 km per hour respectively. Number 6. Berenice Military Base, largest military base in the Middle East. Berenice Military Base is a remarkable achievement made by the Egyptian Armed Forces. It was established within the framework of the strategy of comprehensive development and modernization of the Egyptian Armed Force in order to be ready for all tasks entrusted in the southern strategic direction. The military base, which sits on a 150,000 acre of land, is located on the Red Sea coast along Egypt's southern borders, approximately 90 kilometers north of the Halaib Triangle, an Egyptian-controlled area disputed by Sudan. It features a naval base, an air base, an army hospital, some combat and administrative units, and fields of shooting and training for all weapons. Within the framework of Egypt's 2030, Berenice military base aims to safeguard global navigation through the axis of movement from the Red Sea to the Swiss Canal and the related economic regions. Number 7. October Oasis October Oasis is a mega urban development project spearheaded by New Urban Communities Authority at the Ministry of Housing. It is a city in Giza Governorate, a satellite town and part of the urban area of Cairo, Egypt, 32 kilometers outside the city. Construction cost of October Oasis has been put at $8.5 billion, allowing it to rank as one of the biggest construction projects in Egypt. The city's name commemorates the commencement of the 1973 Arab-Israeli War on 6 October 1973, the same day chosen as Egypt's Armed Forces Day. Number 8. Alexandra Cairo Aswan High Speed Rail Project A project estimated at a cost of over $3.2 billion, Alexandra Cairo Railway Project includes the construction of five stations, maintenance sheds, administrative centers, control centers, bridges, and related infrastructure, the installation of signaling and safety systems, and the laying of railway tracks. The first stage of the project includes the construction of a 210km high-speed railway line from Alexandra to Cairo, the second and third stages of the high-speed railway connecting Cairo to Asut and Asut to Aswan. The about $10 billion project could ensure the transport of 2.3 million passengers per year. It includes the construction of five stations, maintenance sheds, administrative centers, control centers, bridges, and related infrastructure, the installation of signaling and safety systems, and the laying of railway tracks. According to estimates, construction works of this high-speed railway will take three years to complete and expected profit could be of 11%. Number 9. Tahir Petrochemical Complex The Tahir Petrochemical Complex TPC scheme comprises of a 1.5 million ton a year. The project is being developed by Carbon Holdings at a cost of $10.6 billion, originally expected to be completed in 2017, but was subject to several setbacks and delays including Egypt's revolution and the subsequent tumor. More recent delays have been connected to financing problems. Tahrir Petrochemical Complex is regarded as one of the most expensive construction projects in all of Egypt currently. Number 10. Four Winds Coal Fired Power Plant Four Winds Coal Fired Power Plants being constructed in Egypt is a project that is said to be the world's largest single-site coal-fired power plant. The coal-fired power plant is being constructed at a cost of $11 billion. No wonder it is one of the mega construction projects in Egypt. The project is being developed by Tharwa Investment in partnership with Egyptian Electricity Holding Company, EEHC. The pack for the single site 6,000 megawatts plant was sealed by the officials of Four Winds Group of Companies, a unit of Thawa Investment and a Ministry of Electricity at the Egyptian Economic Development Conference held recently in Sham El Sheikh. It is the combination of these two critical arms which has given it a significant advantage to enable Four Winds to become uniquely qualified to deliver a project of this scope and magnitude. There you have it, explorers. Those were the top 10 ongoing projects in Egypt. Thanks for watching this video, and if you did enjoy this video, do want to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.